Hey guys, and we're back to part 20. Holy crap, I don't remember. 28, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. 28. Um, okay. Dude, you need to stop running from Bo and Hilda. She's not gonna hurt you. I'm sorry. Oh, he's a coward, that's why. How much opportunity stuff does he have? She probably has more. How much is the baby one? Because I want to get that for these guys. Where's the baby, 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 baby one? Fertility treatment. 10,000. Actually, yes, please. I want that one. Because they're. I want them to have a couple kids. Huh? Huh. I think Xenon and Salty are going to, when they move to the island, I think they're going to move out permanently. Um, and then these guys are going to have kids. But I just want them to have a kid here. And then we can see that kid, grow up with that kid, and then they can move out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then with Xenon's kid, there will be seven. Oh crap, did I use Salty's lifetime? Oh, he doesn't even have any. So sweet. A couple of people at the gym are spreading rumors about you rather sweaty workouts. In addition to uh, objective... Uh, yeah, I'm good. I don't really care. They can think I'm sweaty all they want. If you don't break a sweat, you uh, don't go first. I don't know the rest of that, so... She needs to get in the ocean now. Nope. Uh, swim. Go swim. Dude, go swim in the ocean now. Okay, nope. Oh, good. She's a pregnant mermaid. But Ariel never saw this one coming. Okay, Otis the cat. I don't care. Okay, so she got in the water, and now she's hungry, and we're good. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yay, Magnus' brain has grown immensely recently, and, you know, and only in the good way. Rumors are circulating about Magnus' mental capabilities, but doubts still remain. Is Magnus destined to be the top of the Kramer Collective? Yeah, look at his friggin' scores and stool, they're awful. He has, yeah, his performance sucks. Homework is great. <laughs> it's school. Make the sleeping elixir. Hit movie composer. No, we're not a hit movie composer. I don't know. I don't feel any of these that he's getting yet. We'll see. Okay, so Charlene, you need to come and take care of your child. Oh, apparently Lee's here. Hey. <laughs> Lee's Trashed here. Him. When does uh, little baby Billy grow up? In four days. We might make that a little bit sooner. <laughs> Dance is at 6 p.m. Better hurry up and get ready. Uh, okay, we need to get ready. So we're gonna stop. Stop. Actually, yes, we need to eat leftovers. But then we also need to uh, plant outfit. Go, 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 go. Go, child, go. Go eat leftovers. Come on, you can do it. Come on, eat back on this. Okay, come on, go upstairs. This is the thing before the thingy starts. Go, 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 child. Okay, there we go. So we gotta plan his formal wear, which uh, is gonna be kind of fun, because I got a little Tim Burton theme I wanna do. So, formal. And let's see what we can get. So formal, formal, formal. And so, so. What is he wearing? I have no idea. Nothing really Tim Burton. Oh. That's actually really neat. Okay. Well, anyways. Um, let's use this. There's nothing Tim Burton. Oh, this kind of sucks. Like a 
white color. And we're going to turn that dark. I like dark. Okay, cool. And now pants. We're going to give him some decent pants and not some crap pants that he is currently wearing. There we go. We're going to darken him up so like we look cute. Okay, those, that looks awful together, but whatever. He's just going to prom, who cares? Then I'll give him these shoes, which are actually really nice. I like these shoes. I want these shoes in real life. EA, send me a pair of these shoes, please. I would love to wear them. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to go to the dance. Go to prom. That starts at six. Okay, so we will go at six. Oh, he's in a limo. No, I'm good. Where is he? Oh, he's getting in. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we didn't even see him get out of the limo. I understand why they teleport now. Oh my god, it's because. It's because they're on separate islands. That makes complete sense now. It'd be cool if they had like a stretch uh, boat limo kind of thing. All right, so he's at the dance. So we'll see how he does afterwards. Um, let's see how Charlene is doing. She's doing good. Xenon is doing okay. Oh, look at her little baby bump. Magnus boogied to the stage to accept his crown and suggested to everyone that the school needs a prank. So, Chaperones were not too happy with him. Yeah, probably not. Oh, look, there's a werewolf. Hello, Mrs. Werewolf. How are you today? Oh, and look, there's... There's our Chester. There's Chester. He always had those earrings, and I never understood why, because I never put earrings on him, but he always had them. Oh. Go all over. <laughs> Oh, look at how she's eating. Oh, look at They're both here. They're at our resort. Magnus was challenged to a dance battle on the dance floor. Of course he finished on top, and the challenger was not happy about it. A fight broke out. Sore losers never prosper. That's funny. Critique. Oh, she's critiquing. Okay, well, he's still at the dance, which is a good thing. He didn't get kicked out. Oh, what are they doing behind the dance? What are they doing back here? There was a bunch of kids back here. Oh, I'm in the front. There a, was a bunch of kids back here. Right there. It's the Weatherstone. Magnus spotted Ethan on the dance floor. What a joke. Ooh. Oh, ah, stop it. Nebby smooth. Let's see. You are a fairy. And what are you? Stop it. Got in a fight. Oh, he got in a fight. Okay. You. I don't even know what you are. A warlock, maybe? I have no idea. None whatsoever. Ooh, hit my mic. Don't want to do that again. No idea what you are. But, uh, congratulations on being whatever you are. Okay, so, Magnus. Oh, frig, I keep clicking him. I'm sorry. I'm just jumping everywhere today. Okay. Yes, I get it. He spotted him on the dance floor. What a joke. So she's eating, and then apparently something happened. Magnus spotted Ethan. Yes, I know. You already told me this. Thank you very much again. Um, okay. Yes, I know. You keep getting scared of her. That's a good thing. You should apparently go swimming. Why are you going swimming? Okay, whatever. So, spend four hundred dollars at the spa. Um, packages. 
Magnus's friend was drenched and punched by a rude schoolmate. Magnus was so angry that a fight broke out. He broke out in another fight? Oh my... Magnus, you are not doing well right now. Not doing well at all. Okay, where is this, um... Right here, day spot. What happened? What happened? That song, that music's really sad. Soothing salvation. Magnus thought the backdrop for prom pictures looked amazing. Good. That means he got a decent prom picture. Hopefully. Well, actually, let's see. Let's see it. Let's go see it, children. And he also got crowned prom king. So let's see what these look like. Okay, let's put them up over here in our our wall. So he has two. Oh, it looks like he was falling. And then there's another one. Is it the same thing? Oh no, that's our. Oh, that's our family. Look, there he is. There's the little guy. There's Magnus right there. That was our family at the time. That's crazy. Okay, and then he has the king's crown, and he has a bunch of stuff. So he actually, he got into a fight bad. That's so bad. That is so bad. Oh. Uh, congratulations. Yay, Xenon. Go, Xenon. Got into a fight. Got into a fight. Stop running. He's always running away from her. And it's not funny at all. Oh no, Magnus saw someone else wearing the same tuxedo. Magnus wasn't wearing a tuxedo, don't worry. Oh, look. She's rocking with him and he's asleep. I wish she'd look at him or something. Special. Hopefully it's romantic. Leap into arms. Heat of the moment. It's actually adorable. Magnus curfew is in one hour. If he is past curfew, blah blah blah. The school dance has ended. You might want to head home before you get in trouble with the law or your parents. Hopefully you had the time of your life. I think he did. When he comes home, he is going to discover a potion. Because that is not it. I love how Bone Hilda won't pick up the child, but will just look at it. It's like, come on, Bone Hilda, do better. I started selling fireworks bundles. Wow. That's cool. Prom King. Prom King. Here, we can put that. Can I put that there? Yeah, we'll put that somewhere. Pink juice. We need to sell his stuff. Yes. Okay. Magnus made the bladder flow potion. Awesome. And where is he going? He's going to use the potion. Okay. So, there was a frog. What? Okay, so... Xenon is at the spa now. She wanted to spend a certain amount of money. And she got her wish. Um, get a massage. Ooh, she's getting a massage right now. She's getting a massage right now, actually. <laughs> so how many of these... How many potions are there in this game? I have no idea. Hopefully, um, something will happen. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. That was really weird. Oh! Liquid Horror Potion! Yay! Great, he's discovering potions a lot quicker now. Oh. Hour. And then he can sleep. In liquid horror. Let's see what happens if we make Lee drink that. Mm. 
No, let's not do that. Let's just sell it. We get no money for it, but whatever. And then the liquid pea one, I don't know. We're good. God, he ruined it again. Stop teleporting into the bathroom! Discover potion. This is really annoying. And he just keeps teleporting into the bathroom. And like, <laughs> Sleeping potion! Yes. Okay. Uh, discover potion. Come on. I think we have one more, and then we, we're done. We're done with the potions. This is so generations, but we need to... Uh, I want him to have his imaginary friend alive. <laughs> okay. Friendly. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Michael. <laughs> Jog everywhere. No. Ah, crap, I said yes. <laughs> wow, I don't think... I w oh, she saved someone. Okay. Come on! I... God, this must be boring to watch. I'm so sorry. Oh no, Xenon's baby's coming! Oh, well, this is interesting. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Salty, take the hospital. I wonder what the baby's gonna be. Salt water deficiency. Oh, no. Come on. Go, guys. Go. Go, guys. Congratulations on a new baby girl. Xenon's pregnancy went well and she had and she and the baby made it through smoothly. The baby has been born with the good trait and you will get to choose her second trait. What would you like to name her? Um since I hope that she is a mermaid, I'm going to say Melody. And we are going to make her loves um we're going to make her Loves the outdoors or something like that. Uh, hates the outdoors. Loves the outdoors. There we go. So she loves the outdoors. So she's an alien. But she's a Pisces. So that's a good thing. So ooh, that's great. So we're getting our baby. She's coming. There she is, our little baby. Now I have to add a crib to Xenon's room. <laughs> okay. And officially our house is crowded. 
We have seven Sims living in one house. This has turned into a crazy, 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 crazy thing. Okay, what am I looking for again? All right, I'm losing my mind. So we're going to give her this crib. And I wish they had like an Asian inspired crib or something like that because, so I'm gonna put Melody in crib. Use the toilet. Oh. Use the toilet. No, 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 no. Use. Go. <laughs> Go. Dang it. <laughs> Shower. Shower. There we go. He's gonna shower and then he's gonna go to Do we have a coffee maker? They're paying you too much as a lifeguard, especially since you're not saving any lives at all. Well, I'm sorry. I wasn't even here. Charlene learned that Victoria's a snob. That's why. Oh, wow. Okay, aren't you a vampire? You're a vampire. Why are you sun tanning? And look at the little freezer bunny on the blanket. That's amazing. Love it. Oh, she's somebody. Wow, we have a lot of children. I love how we started off with three people. One, two, three. And now we're up to uh, seven. That's interesting. Oh, he's sleeping. There's a ghost potion. Yay! He found a ghost potion. Oh, he's going to make hot dogs. Apparently. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Margo, I was a music to have a guy. Zargo, mix a photo zoo. Lama he goggle zoobogle. Saba? Discover poison. Oh, 
turbo whatever that is. And what was that from? What was that from? Oh, everyone's doing really bad right now. Go eat. Go eat. Oh my god, yeah, you need to get in the water. Oh, no, we don't need it another. Everything is going so weirdly. Like, I'm not even focusing on the resort anymore, which is really bad. Um, I haven't done anything to the resort in a while, and I kind of want to give it a complete overhaul, which I will do. But, uh, God, why are all of them so skinny now? Oh, yeah, I did replace their teeth. Let's see if anybody has their teeth showing. Oh, he does. Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, does anybody have their teeth showing? He's gonna do, like, something. Ah, go! Okay. So his teeth are showing. No. Are they... No, they're not the teeth that I set. But whatever. Is he doing anything? Is anybody doing anything? Where is she? That's... Oh, well, there she is. Nope, she doesn't have her mouth open. Um, does she have her mouth open? No, you're in a taxi. She wants to adopt a stray and buy a dryer. Travel abroad. Yeah. We're not adopting any animals ever since the Dexter incident. Uh, so, yeah. That is not happening, I'm sorry. We might, we might do it in the future, but not, not right now. We don't need any more animals. I can barely take care of all of you guys. Okay, so, you need to eat. And... Where are you, Charlene? Are oh, you down here. Oh, she just makes noise. Lifeguarding. Whatever. Um, let's see what he's doing over here. I guess this part's going to be a little bit longer than usual. Oh, he's going to talk. Ugh. Ugh. Large. Why do they keep hitting me? Zoob Jahani Moss. E uh, oh. Oh, did you see that? His. Okay. That was weird. Oh, she's eating. Not anymore. God, I'm missing everybody. I put new teeth in, but I can't seem to find them. Okay. Friendly. 
ask about resort stay. Oh, you can actually ask people about the resort stay. That's neat. Give me. He never opens his mouth. See, okay, so these are the new teeth that I kind of put in. Um, they look really good. I actually like them. They look really nice. Um, or Sims. They look realistic is what I was going for. Mm -hmm. And I love the creator who did this. I appreciate him to take a time to learn whatever. I recommend the fried plantains and at the food stand. Oh, thank you. Um, get food slash drink. Fried plantains. Let's check them out. Oh, there's a sim. Ooh, those look good. I'm, I'm getting really hungry playing this. I don't understand why. Okay. Uh, scold. Why are you scolding him? He went to school. Uh, I have had it. Go take a time out. What? Where is he going? Oh my god, he's actually... He's actually standing there and like... <laughs> No. Oh, poor guy. No, oh, poor a Magnus. Group. That's actually hilarious. That's really funny. Oh. Again. Banned from using TV, from breaking timeout, oh, whatever. <laughs> Banned from TV. I've never had this happen before. That is just crazy. That's nuts. I like that's just creepy. And weird, and it's like, <laughs> you're not even his mother, Xenon, you're his aunt, leave him alone, you're supposed to be the fun, cool aunt, but you're not. <laughs> Being the really, really bitchy aunt. <laughs> Nobody likes. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Rehydrate. in the water and just to make sure we need to get salty in the water he's unemployed he can't okay Xenon. Is Xenon swimming? Oh. That way? Yeah. Okay, awesome. And she's a substitute teacher, that's good. to know if Lee Marshall would like to go no he is married married has a ring on his finger he liked it so he put a ring on his finger
ever again. I'm very depressed about that. to freaking get his skills up and to get the stupid potion that we need to change his freaking imaginary friend into a real person. It's taking forever. Free vacations, no more anything. Oh crap, I didn't collect the money from here. Okay guys, um, after I collect the money, that is going to be it. Resort management, collect resort profits. Okay guys, so that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we I'm going to play a little bit by myself and uh, get him up to the point where he has the stupid elixir. So we can change this guy into, uh, we can change Pat into a real person and we can move on with our lives. Because, as of right now, it is ridiculous. <laughs> so, hopefully that happens when we get back. If not, I am very sorry. Um, but, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!